Yo guys, what is going on? Insanity coming back at you today with some more Division content. And yes, my channel has been down and out the past couple of days. I've been running into so many PC issues over the past week. It's been killing my streams, but more importantly, we are back, we are better than ever, and we have a healthy PC yet again. And it's kind of sad to say it was all down to one particular problem that was really slowing us down. And that was a RAM stick was bad, so I had to get some new RAM. We took care of that. And now everything is back up and running the way it should. We did a test stream yesterday. We did a nice four or five hour stream running around through the entire world of Manhattan, doing DZ stuff, doing incursions. We, we did everything we possibly could to try and make up for lost time that we had here over on this channel. But more importantly, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some of this other stuff that's going on. And just, you know, the fact that 1.6 is, it's got a looming release. We have no idea when it's really coming. State of the game is well on its way in a couple of days, but hopefully... Do we want to see a 1.6 release in a week? Do you want to see 1.6 come out on the 28th? I mean, who really knows when this is going to be releasing? I mean, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be tested. I personally wanted to see a console PTS because there's going to be a lot of people out there on console that are going to running that are going to start running into problems that PC might not necessarily have because the the testing was done there, everything was taken care of. Just whenever you have something being ported over to a different platform, other things pop up, different bugs start to happen, and the console community feels extremely left out because of that. Now, I do play the game on PC. As all of you know, I've been doing it ever since the original PTS because I thought it was such a unique idea to try and help make this game better. And if you have a, a PC capable of running this game, definitely do it. Now, is PC gaming a lot harder and more of a challenge? Absolutely. Like Just like what happened to me... Over this past couple of weeks, you know, with the RAM problem, it happens, PC things break, and it's a lot harder sometimes to go and replace things like a motherboard as compared to just trying to take back a console. If you have a warranty, swap it out for a new one, you go home, reinstall your game, and you're happy, go lucky yet again, and you get to keep playing. It doesn't always work that way on PC, and just all I can say is we're back, we're good, I'm happy. I'm glad all of you showed up. Thank you again for all the crazy support. We're about to hit 10,000 subs here over on my channel, and it, it's really, really exciting. I did make a quick little change to my overlay to try and show a live subscriber count at all times so that the moment we hit 10,000, I know it, you know it, and maybe it'll be during a live stream. That's what I'm really hoping for more than anything. Um, one of the things I really wanted to go ahead and try and test out, as you can see from this particular video, for the very first time... In 1.5, you guys are seeing me run around with a one-two punch build, something I was using in uh, 1.6 in the PTS, and that is a pecan with an SMG. Now, I was really using it more with the PP19 in 1.6. You know, use the pecan to try and take down enemy armor damage, and then using an SMG for up close and personal attacks to take down the rest of that health as quickly as fast as you can. And it works really well. I mean, in some engagements, it does get you killed depending on how many enemies are around you. So it, Take out as many as you can from long range, and then go up and close and just take down, take down bosses as quickly as you can with no armor at all. Because if you try running in on these guys with armor, you're just going to get melted. I've run into it a couple of times already. I do not recommend it. But if you have the opportunity to go ahead and melt their armor first before rushing in with an SMG, you're going to do wonders. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to go ahead and have a quick little update video for you guys. Our channel is back. The live streams are back. The content is going to keep rolling in. And I just cannot wait to try and get this stuff back on track so that everyone here can continue making this community grow. Thank you for everyone over on my Discord. And just the subs and the support are just insane. I love you guys. Like if you haven't, sub if you're new. And be on the lookout for more Division content coming your way very, very soon. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.